Got him. <laughs> Patrick, get him in here. <laughs> there we go, folks. A little flipping little bass. Guy. He's a little guy. Look at that, a man. You swung on him like no tomorrow. <laughs> it's a little guy. Folks, today we're at Patagonia Lake, man, with Patrick Spencer. He is the man on this lake. <laughs> we finally got down here, and uh, he's the ace pro here at, uh, in Tucson. And, and I'll tell you what, Patrick, you've won a lot of tournaments here. Yeah. You know, my old drummer, Manny Verdugo, good friend of ours, fishes this lake, the Patagonia Elite. Yeah. And yeah. he, he's always talking about you. He says, man, when that guy hits the water, it's t he's a <laughs> tough man to beat. And I said, well, that's uh, funny, because we're taking him out. <laughs> so anyways, uh, tell us a little bit about this yeah, lake. Yeah, well, you know, I've been blessed to fish here, worked hard, you know, I've fished it a lot, you know, so. But Patagonia is a great lake, you know. It's, it's the great thing about this lake is there's fish everywhere. Man. And people don't like it because it can be tough, but. Yeah. I mean, we didn't even start the boat. We're right yeah. here at the ramp. Right there's the ramp. Fish, yeah. There's fish everywhere. Um, hopefully we catch some big ones today. Um, and there's big fish in here, you know, they eat trout. So sure. it's a it's a great fish fishery. It has grass, tules, rock, everything you want to do. So so you can drop shot this lake if you want. Yeah. You can spinner bait this lake. Yeah. You can frog fish this lake. Today we're here and it's cold. It's cold. What is yeah. it like? What, what was it? 40 degrees 40 when we got degrees, here? Yeah. I'm freezing, man. Yeah. But we're here and we're flipping the tules. And let's explain a little bit yeah. about the rig you're throwing here. So, you know, the sweet beaver has probably won more money on this lake than any bait that, that you can buy. A sweet beaver and a cinco, but you know, a sweet beaver, what, what's so good about this is it's compact. You know, it's, yep. it's, real, it's real tight, so you can get in the holes really good in the tules or in the grass. So we just got a little a big weight. You know, I like to use an ounce, three quarter ounce weight. Um, today we got a punch skirt on. Um, you know, it just gives it a little flair, you know, sure. something different. Some guys don't use it, some guys do. And then just a big old sweet beaver, uh, Reaction Man. Innovation Sweet Beaver. It looks good. It and, looks uh, good. You got a little skirt on there. Yeah, little, little skirt. black and blue. Yeah. Goes really good here. Evidently. You can't beat black and blue. No. I mean, you I can use black green blue. pumpkin, black and blue, but black and blue, because the holes are are dark. You know, you're flipping in a black agree. dark yep. hole. So I agree. Dark colors. You know, He's already beat his sinker it. up. It used oh, to be yeah. black. Now it's got yeah. a little chrome on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Touched> <laughs> it away. No, this yeah. is awesome. We're going to so. have a great time today, folks. Yeah. We're going to do a little flipping. I may have to switch over to braid, man. I'm telling you, yeah. I got my flipping stick out throwing some big line, but, yeah. but I'm watching what's going on now. We just showed up. I've never been to this lake before yeah. in my life. Uh, so I got some good friends, though, that have fished this lake. Yeah. You know, Vu. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he's a great fisherman. He, they grew up, Ty and Vu yeah, grew oh, up yeah. on this lake. They fished yeah. it a lot. And now we're learning a little bit about what's going on. Now, the key to this and something that's really fun to do is you're throwing over these, over the, we're throwing over yeah. the reeds. You, and you got to hear that. You were saying you got to hear the little bit of splash. Yeah. So yeah. once you know you're in the water, yeah. it's a good chance you'll you're get gonna a fish. Fishing, you're fishing with your ears today. Oh, my gosh. Thought, I know? love that. Yeah, you, you got to back in there and you just got to listen. Floop. And if it's in the water, you got a chance. Hold on, yeah. All right. right. Well, yeah. I, I might be making the switch here yeah. soon on the, I'm throwing okay. the same thing, but I'm throwing a fluorocarbon line. We might switch over to some braid, man. <laughs> I got a real one braid I'm on. Telling I'm telling you, you get, you get a good one back there, Johnny. <laughs> I'm telling you, son, after what I just seen, I'm like, oh man, and that yeah. was a little fish, That folks. was a little guy. We're going to yeah. have a good time today at Patagonia Lake and uh, with, with Patrick Spencer, and, and let's see if we can catch yeah. another let's one, Let's get man. back out there. Yeah. Oh! Did you get him? Yeah. Did you get him? He's uh, look, got one. Little guy. He's got one. Oh, you lost it. No, I got oh, it. Oh, you got it. He's so small you thought I did. <laughs> That's what happens when you get the first hole, folks, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a giant. What do you oh, think? Maybe three, four? Yeah, he's pushing. Oh, pushing. Look at his, look how he's arched. Yeah. Got some shoulders. Even the going. little ones are hitting it. Yeah. That's good. You caught him on the outside kind of dude. He was on the outside, yeah. That's good. That's yeah. a good fish. Good ah, little fish. guy. Good job. I need to get bigger. It's my turn. <laughs> Just tied on the good stuff. All right, let's get it done. You're tying a different knot. Yeah. Because we're actually punching and flipping with a different type of hook. Explain this. Yeah. So it's a snail knot and it's yep. kind of simple and I'll show you what it does to the hook after I get it tied. So basically you just come in through through the eye. through the through the eye at the hook point. And uh, this is a Gamagatsu 5 out hook. Um, and it kind of makes it nice. It's got a little keeper right there and I, what I do you make a loop kind of like so. Okay. Just make a loop like that and then you wrap it around. 
you can go three to five times and just wrap it around the eye there and uh, and then all you do is stick stick your tail through the loop that's back it through the loop and you literally just pull and that's it and that's, that's the snail it? yeah and what a snail oh, knot your, does see this is the key factor see when you get a bite when you get a bite let me see if I can show you guys. When you get a bite, that fish is gonna pull on it and see it. Ah! You see that? So when you get a bite, that that hook perfect for punching sticks right on top of the mouth. Same knot we tie yeah. for punching. You know, when you're just yeah. regular punching, you're actually so, punching. Yeah. But you're punching reeds, man. Yeah. yeah. You don't even need to. Well, you got grass here too, right? Yeah. So you, do you need to cut that? Don't even need to cut the tail. No, you're, you're good. Kidding. Yeah. So that's the stale knot. It's key though, because once they bite it, that hook just sticks right on top of their mouth and. And you get them every time. Guess so. who just changed to braid? <laughs> <laughs> there was no way I was going to take a chance. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's catch some fish. Let me get in the Ace Hardware bag and get you a bait. See, folks, what ends up happening a lot of times is anytime I have a guest on, they tie me on a different kind of bait than what they're throwing. And the reason for that is because they always want to catch the first fish. <laughs> then they put me on the bait yeah, that now, they're actually throwing. Yeah. Since I caught no. one, <laughs> I caught the first one. Now, now you can use what I'm using. <laughs> hey folks, we're down here at one of the Ace Hardwares here in Tucson with one of my good buddies, Tim Baird. And Tim, you've done something a little special for the folks that love fishing in this community. Tell us a little bit about your fishing department in an Ace Hardware. Well, Johnny, uh, we, we started this fishing department about eight years ago and it's grown into this big thing here. The secret to our fishing department is, is our customers. Uh, we ask them what they would like on the shelves and we just let them know, we want this to be your tackle shop. So we just make sure to have their baits in the store. Next week, we got Arizona Custom Baits coming in. That's awesome. Uh, so we, we put that out so people are happy about it. I'm really excited for you. You got a great store. They do a big function every year. What is this function you do every year out here that I come to? So it's the uh, Ace Sporting Goods event. Uh, we have about 40 national vendors that come out, uh, all from the fishing and hunting side of it. Uh, we have a bass boat show, and of course we have Johnny Johnson coming out, <laughs> which is you know which is awesome. And it's not too far from Patagonia Lake, is which where we're fishing. Yes. And. Uh, We'll catch some, catch some nice fish. Oh, you're going to catch some Spencer. good fish. Yes. He better not let me down oh, today. I don't, I don't think he will. All I don't right, think we'll he will. We'll see what happens. Yes, indeed. Come join us at Ace Hardware. We'll be here. And uh, we're going to be, I'm going back to the lake. Yes, You indeed. have fun. You go to work. I've got to go to work. Lake. i got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he's got one, folks. <laughs> there you go, son. Oh, man. Ripped it right out of the, the, yeah. the bulrushes. A little better one. There's a flip fish. A flip there fish. you go, son. Warm They're up not a real bit. big yet. We're waiting for it to warm up a little bit. Yeah. Now, we were just talking about, we're waiting for the sun. We got here a little early in the morning, but to, to do what we're doing, you said it's better in the afternoon, right? Yeah, I mean, right now, you know, we had the first cold front of the year. Yep. Come in, the water cooled off a little bit, but you know, sometimes you gotta let them warm up. I know a couple of weeks ago, the afternoon bite was better once that sun came up high. You know, created shade in the tulies and yep. and uh, the water warmed up and. Now you know, make you, make no mistake, this lake isn't where you're going to catch 20 or 30 fish a day, right? No, you're hoping yeah. for for five or six good bites a day. Yeah. I mean, if you catch 10 fish out here, that's you're doing good. good. It's a good day. Sounds like a rainbow lake where I live or a yeah. shallow lake. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, you just hope for the good quality bites. Now, you've got three fish. Yeah. In your your elite series that you have out here, the Patagonia elites. You guys only allow three fish, right? Yeah, it's a three fish limit. You know, okay. it's a smaller lake, so we figured, you know, five fish is a lot more fish, but you know, three fish is a good solid limit out here for these for this. Perfect. For this and it usually takes ten plus pounds to even be in contention to win. Well you got four pounds. Let's get it done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're getting our butts kicked, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm waiting for the big bite. <laughs> good you job, gotta catch your kicker. Good. Another one? There you go. Look at that. That's five. We're done. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have to catch fish today, folks. Get out there. No. Where at? Where'd you catch him? Right there. Get this right out there. Yeah. You looked at me like he was halfway out of here, man. He was. He was swimming with it. Oh. 
they're not what you're expecting to catch no, though, are they? No, they're not. Seriously, I mean, we're flipping these toolies. He's getting in there and getting them, but he was telling me a week, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. You were ago. catching four and five pounders. He, he actually texted me and said, they're chewing. <laughs> Decent little guy. Yeah, nice make... fish. Big one, Johnny. You got a big one, Johnny. Kill him in the mouth. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about, son. We did it. We did it. Oh, he was in the grass. I know. I just punched down into that grass right Literally there. Literally under the trauma. motor. Not, I was flipping in there, and I looked down, and I go, hey, there's a patch of grass right there. Unbelievable. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at that fish, folks. That's what I'm talking about. We're not catching many fish. Matter of fact, that's my first one today. <laughs> but I lost a couple, I think. But, man, that is a gorgeous. Look how healthy that fish is. Yeah. What a lake, man! That's got a, That's a beautiful fish. Good now job, that's your Johnny. standard yeah. fish here. Yeah, that's. I mean, shooting. Those are. That's a pushing four. You know, three and a half <sighs> pushing four. But yeah, folks, I'm telling you, Patrick has been sweating it all day trying to get me a fish, <laughs> and he says, "Take the front of the boat, catch a fish, please." <laughs> and look, we got one. Uh, that's what hard work, hard work, and dedication <laughs> pays off, huh? Today was work, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we were. <laughs> you earned that one, Johnny, for sure. All right. Hey, here's what I did learn just now. These little patch of weeds, you're right. Yeah. Once in a while, you see a little patch of weeds out here in front of the reeds. Yeah. All I did was drop that thing right in the hole, let it fall to the bottom. He took off with Dunk. it. Man. I worked hard today <laughs> for that fish, son. You earned it. I was beginning to think this lake didn't have a whole lot of fish yeah. in it or something. Hey, but you did say but, the one fish you're going to catch is going to be a big one. Well, of course, you know. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. it's my show. <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> uh, you put us on them. Well, no. I tell you, the thing is, is now what I'd like to do is finish out, go go down through here, yeah. see if we can flip another one out of those. Uh, yeah. Those grass patches. Yeah. Now, re the reality is, is you came out here, what, a couple weeks ago and was really yeah. excited about the bite. Yeah. It was really off off the, the hook for this lake. And you were catching some three, four, five pounders. Yeah. I mean, those, we were calling those, you know. I mean, I just called one of your fish, by yeah, the way. Out of the yeah. three fish we would have had to have today, <laughs> that I just called one. Limit. Well, it took me all day. <laughs> but, you know. You got You got to stay persistent with it, you know, yeah. start feeling it. But yeah. I, you know, I got one good bite, I think, in the grass back there. Yeah and punching that grass. And you had that one fish you had on yep. that came off. And you've been catching them a little bit out of the toolies, but it's been like really yeah. one here, one there. But it seems like every time we find a little grass patch, you're catching a fish or we're getting bit yeah. or something. So I'm like, man, I, I saw that little grass patch. I had to yeah, throw you it. Gotta... You had just told me there's some grass out there. <laughs> I, I love it. All right. Nice well, fish. Good it, job. Man. Good job. Let me fix up. Yeah. You get out there and catch one now. Nice fish. You're Johnny. allowed to catch one now. I can I can catch one now. <laughs> oh. I was beginning to think I was losing my mojo. Hey folks, for my tip of the week, I think one thing that's really important when you're doing this kind of fishing, we've been fishing real tight to cover today. And uh, Patrick's been running the, the motor a lot and I've been noticing one key thing. And one of the reasons I think he's real successful on a lake like this is he's not using the troller motor a whole lot. He bumps you just enough and lets it drift. And you have to hit a lot of holes, even in the grass. The key is, is not to hit the troller motor. We're not even using graphs today. You don't like having the graphs running either no. for the ping, right? Yeah, I mean, sometimes we turn the live well off, you know? And, okay. And, you know, just because you don't want... Any the, noise. Any noise. And, and, you know, if you clear water, if you hit that trolling motor, you see, like, bluegill scatter, you know? Yes. So, so it's quiet, you know, a, a, a tough lake like this, Yes. the little things make a big difference. And that's... And you wouldn't have caught that fish I if you would have hit the motor. I would have never caught that fish. Yeah, you definitely... I had to drop right there. Yeah. I didn't hit the motor, and it really is key. Don't yeah. stand on the trolling motor and, and try to just bump yourself along and just kind of float along, yeah. and you'll catch a lot more fish. That's our tip of the week.
I'll tell you what, Patrick, one thing about this, this area, and it's kind of way out of here, but the amenities here they have, the camping areas yeah. are unbelievable. You said they got cabins? Look at that. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Did you see that? Like, what are you doing to me, son? What are you doing? You got me all wrapped up in your fish. Oh. He got one. Why would he... I was literally just letting it hang over the boat like that, and he, <laughs> he bit it. <laughs> Great oh, little fish. Giant one. Look at that, man. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's great. That's great. Sorry. But the amenities yeah. here that they have, the camping yeah. areas and all that it's stuff. It's a great place to bring your family and camp. You know, the, the, they got clean bathrooms. The state park does a great job. And, you know, you can see some cabins. They just built those cabins up there. Great, great cabins. And, and uh, just a great place to, to come and camp and, and enjoy, the, enjoy good weather. And Yeah. You know, yeah, actually, so. it's a lot warmer here than it is at home. Right now, we'd be <laughs> really having to wear coats. But, <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome yeah. place to be, for sure. I was like this hanging in there. I can't believe you, <laughs> man. Are you serious? <laughs> Look at that fish, son. That's what I'm talking about. We're calling now. We're calling. We're calling. <laughs> Come on, get off there. I just flipped in there. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's a good one, too. Dude, yeah. what a day on the water. They're finally, finally finding some fish in the weeds. Nice They're in the weeds. Yeah, nice job. We've had a great time. Have you had a good time? Yeah, oh yeah, great. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks for having me, Johnny. Dude, Appreciate it's it. been awesome. What a day today yeah. here at uh, Patagonia Lake. And I'll tell you something. Hasn't been easy. <laughs> it has not been easy, but the fish are there. Yeah. Probably all the way down. Yeah. We'll probably fish it the rest of the way down, but it's, the light level's coming down on us really good. I've had a great time with you on the show. I want to yep. thank Ace Hardware for sure. Yep, thank Everything you. Everything they do for the show. Yep. And and I'll tell you what, folks, Patagonia, we haven't seen any boats hardly no, today. There's been one one other boat. Out We're here. here during the week. You got the whole water to yourself. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry we had to show some of your water. No, no, she this no. guy's a, this guy's won a lot of tournaments on this water. Oh. And uh, it's it's really a nice time to be able to come out and figure some of this stuff out. Took a while. Yeah. I Took mean, a while. But we've had a great time. Yeah. It's a great lake, you know, there, it didn't quite show itself as good as it can be, you know. There's big sure. ones in here, but we got there's a cold fish front. everywhere. There's and, a cold front yeah. blowing through. Yeah. It's terrible. But the thing is, is we caught fish. Yeah. Pick up that flipping stick, learn how to do it on a lake like this, and you're gonna catch some fish, I promise you. I did it today, and it's the first time I've ever been here. Took me a while, but I finally yeah. did it. Yeah, you stuck with it. Yeah. Good quality fish today. Thanks for joining us on the show. Join us next week on Fishing with Johnny Johnson. For Patrick Spencer, I'm Johnny Johnson. We'll see you next week. <laughs> now, see, that's what I'm talking about, folks.